All right, this is a video on 5.12 number seven, and this is this investment program. So Kristen invests 10,000 in investment, at first pays 3% interest for the first three years, and then 9% interest annually for the last three years. So we're talking six years total. And then Bo invests 10,000 that pays R% percent all six years. We know they're worth the same after six years. So we've got to analyze is our greater than, equal to, or less than six? And how do we know? So let's see how we can set this up to compare. Okay, let's do Kristen on the left side. So Kristen has, so we've got 10,000 and we will at first do one, and it's just compounded once a year, compounded annually. So we don't have to divide the annual rate by anything. So again, 3% for the first three years, and then it's gonna be 9% for the next three years. And we're gonna compare that to what Bo, Bo is doing. And Bo is investing 10,000 um, at some interest rate R. R is a percent, but right now, pretend R is a decimal here. Um, and to the, for all six years. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Well, in order to, uh, I wanna, we wanna figure out how does, um, again, how did these two compare, but we wanna figure out um, specifically how R compares to um, 6%. Um, so let's, all right, so first of all, we can forget the 10,000 because those are the same. So we're really looking at how these two compare. Well, let's say that R was 6%. <laughs> then on the right side, we're gonna have one plus 0 0.06 to the six. And in order to compare, let's, um, I'm gonna be a little clever here and think about how I can relate um, 3% and 9% to 6%. So I can rewrite this piece as, I'm gonna maybe put a bracket here, as 1.06 minus 0.03, which will be 1.03. And then I'm gonna do the same with 1.09, except instead of minus, it's gonna be plus. And they're both to the third power, so I can put them multiplied together um, inside and all and that raised to the third power. Well, I notice here that 1.03 minus 0.03, I'm sorry, 1.06 minus 0.03 times 1.06 plus 0.03. Well, that's a difference of squares, but foiled out. Remember, difference of squares, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So I have this side right here. So I'm gonna go backwards and say this is, this inside is equal to 1.06 squared minus 0 0.03 squared. And of course, to the third power here. Well, let's go back to what we have on the right, which is 1.06 to the six. Now, on the left here, I'm subtracting from 1.06 a 0.03. So clearly the left side is going to be less than 1.06. So in order for these two be these two to be equal, I'm gonna need R. So this is gonna have to be again this will be have to be less than 1.06 to the six. So I'm gonna need R to be less than 0.06, or in other words, R is less than 